Hi, I'm Eugenia Austin. I'm a Diamond Executive, and I would like to welcome you to The Matt Show. Hi there, my name is Dr. Todd Austin, and welcome to this episode of The Show. I have been asked a lot by other doctors, mainly other chiropractors, about using that for neuropathy. Uh, and I really don't do a ton of neuropathy work in my clinic at Austin Family Chiropractic. We're mainly focusing on um, other issues. But I always tell these people, when it comes to neuropathy, I've got a good friend in chiropractic, and he does a lot with neuropathy in his practice, which includes nutrition, which includes using cold lasers effectively, and which now includes incorporating the mat which is really kind of taking him over the top with the neuropathies. So I'd like to welcome Dr. Brian Reed. Glad to be here. Who Thank does you, Dr. a lot Tom. of work with neuropathy. Welcome back to, um, you, you've been on Cold Laser TV with me. You've been on my Ask Dr. Todd blog, so welcome to the Matt Show. And so first of all, can you please tell people about, can you, can you define neuropathy for us? Neuropathy, well neuropathy is when there's damage to the uh, blood vessels and the uh, nerves, in the, the peripheral nerves, uh, mostly in the leg and the feet and in the hands. And um, you know, there are many different kinds of neuropathy. Uh, diabetic neuropathy is probably the largest type of uh, neuropathy that faces us today as you know, two thirds of Americans are either you know, diabetic or moving into a pre-diabetic state. So that's a great complication that they have. Uh, but there's also uh, neuropathy with uh, chemotherapy patients. Uh, the demyelinization of uh, the nerve in those distal regions are a big problem for them. And then there's also nutrient deficiencies and some uh, unwanted side effects with uh, drugs can also cause uh, some neuropathy symptoms. And so can you tell us about the standard medical approach, treatment approach for neuropathy? Well, as with most medical uh, approaches, it involves uh, you know, drugs and surgery. Uh, the typical drugs that they use are going to be uh, very powerful drugs, anticonvulsant uh, type of drugs, the kind of drugs they use for uh, people with seizures and uh, you know, uh, uh, her herpetic type of uh, pain uh, with the shingles uh, pain. Uh, they're anticonvulsants, they're Lyrica, Neurontin, very powerful. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the patients, once they uh, get started on those medications, a lot of times they become dependent and are, have difficulty getting off of them. And a lot of the unwanted side effects that they experience are going to be anything from burning, weakness, tingling, uh, they have sensitivities to heat and cold, uh, causes some brain fog. So patients really don't like uh, being on those medications and they'll do anything to get off. So not really good outcomes with that. Yeah, so it's, it's tough. I mean, it's there to help kind of calm down the nervous system, but uh, you know, we've got some other approaches here, like including the mats and nutritional approaches that can really help those people. Okay, so can you tell us you know, how you treat, how you have good success with neuropathies and of course, since this is the Matt Show, I'm kind of focusing on how you're using the Matt to really take it to the next level with your neuropathy treatments. Okay, absolutely. Uh, my first goal is uh, is to really kind of you know reduce the pain and the inflammation, increase the blood supply to those uh, you know inflamed tissues so that we can uh, deliver oxygen and nutrients uh, to kind of initiate the healing process. And uh, again, if, there, if it's a diabetic patient, uh, we always want to try to improve. Uh, imp excuse me, improve their uh, insulin response, uh, addressing some of the, you know, their diabetic needs. Um, if it's a, you know, a chemotherapy patient, uh, naturally they're going to, you know, regain some of that uh, myelinization in the nerve. It's just a slow process, but we can uh, speed up that process. Um, typically, I use uh, a lot of uh, anti-inflammatory uh, herbals, uh, bioflavonoids, polyphenol type uh, substances to, to improve the blood flow to the area and anti-inflammatory uh, approach as well. Um, high dose fish oil for uh, the nervous system to remyelinate those damaged nerves. Uh, a lot of calming type of uh, herbs too, which kind of are work similarly to the uh, Neurontin and the Lyrica, uh, like 5-HTP, uh, some pre- uh, uh, some GABA type of uh, oh, okay. support, um, phenylated GABA to get it across uh, into the blood-brain uh, barrier uh, so they can act on the brain. 
those are uh, inhibitory or calming uh, uh, neurotransmitters. So we try to you know, boost that effect. Green tea, 5-HTP, magnesium, all uh, you know, agents that help calm the nervous system. Um, and how I use the mat, um, I ha typically have the patients uh, lie on the mat for, I think, about a minimum 40 minutes per treatment. I feel that's the, the best amount of time, the biggest bang for their buck uh, to do that. And the great thing about the mat is it supports the nutritional therapy because it, it's going to increase that uh, uh, blood delivery to those distal regions um, to, again, bring the oxygen, bring the nutrients. Uh, it speeds up the uh, mitochondria function in the cell, so it's going to speed up the healing. Um, it's going to increase that metabolic rate. Um, it's going to also help with reducing pain and inflammation because it naturally, uh, the, you know, the far infrared is actually going to stimulate, uh, boost the, the serotonin production, which is going to raise your pain threshold so you're able to tolerate the neuropathy better. Uh, the ionization effect also has that as an anti-inflammatory uh, antioxidant type of effect too, which again just helps to uh, synergistically uh, improve and speed up the uh, recovery for that uh, patient. And so if you're increasing serotonin levels naturally, you're also increasing melatonin levels, and that's going to actually help the person get better quality sleep as well, which is going to be more deep restorative sleep, and that's going to allow their body to right. heal that much better as well. So. Yeah, it helps produce the alpha waves uh, activity in the brain, which is more conducive to sleep, and it allows them to get into that deep stage four restorative sleep as well. So uh, it sounds like you're doing some great things with uh, neuropathies and great things with that in your clinic, Dr. Reed. Thank you for sharing all this on the show. Dr. Reed practices in Maryville, Illinois, in the St. Louis Metro East area. So like I said, if people ask me about um, using mats for neuropathy, I usually send them your way. I appreciate you uh, answering questions for, for folks about that and helping other people to get relief with mats um, using neuropathy. So thank you for joining me on the okay, show, Dr. Reed. My pleasure. Awesome information. Great, thank you. You're welcome.